friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa. And today I am so excited about this video because I am doing another one recipe, six ways, I guess you could say. We've done two of these on the channel already, a steel cut oatmeal one, as well as a chia pudding one. And today we are doing savory quinoa bowls. So I am gonna show you how to make a quinoa bowl six different ways using just simple cooked quinoa. So you can basically just cook a big batch and have it for all six of these recipes. I'm also really excited to be partnering up again in 2020 with my lovely friends at Bob's Red Mill. I have been working with Bob's Red Mill since almost the very beginning of my blog, so at least six years, I think. And they're one of my favorite partners because I absolutely love not only the brand and the company and the people that work there, but also the products. So today we're using their white quinoa in these different bowls, but they do have other varieties that you could swap in and out if you wanted, as well as other grains. So they're a great place to buy grains and beans and seeds and flowers. So check their website out for all of the different products, and I'm sure that you could probably also find them in your local grocery store. So let's talk about these recipes. I'm not gonna share right now the specific flavors, but essentially my goal with this video was to show you how you can meal prep quinoa bowls for an entire week. Even though we have six recipes, basically you just have to cook quinoa, like I said, and you can use one serving of quinoa with all of these different flavors. And I also tried to combine some of the vegetables so that you could kind of chop different vegetables and use them in a few different recipes so that it would kind of cut down on the ingredient list that you need and still kind of give you different flavors with each. So I hope you guys enjoy, and before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe by clicking the red button that is right below this video, and as always, all of the posts, information, recipes, everything like that will be linked down in the description box for you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so we're gonna first start by cooking some quinoa, and you guys probably already know how to do this, but you're basically just gonna add your quinoa, again, I'm using Bob's Red Mill white quinoa here, into your saucepan. And then you will add in your water and the quinoa to water ratio is one to two. So one part quinoa to two parts water. Bring that mixture to a boil. Then you'll just pop on the lid and you'll let this simmer and cook for about 15 minutes until the water has been absorbed and the quinoa is nice and fluffy. So if you're gonna make all of these recipes, I recommend making about two cups of uncooked quinoa, which will yield about six cups of regular quinoa and that should be enough for each of these recipes. And then you'll also want to let this cool and kind of fluff before you use it in your bowls. All right, so bowl number one is our Mexican quinoa bowl. We're gonna start by adding our quinoa in, as well as some canned black beans, some corn, some salsa. I just use a jarred salsa, as well as some sliced avocado on top and some fresh cilantro. And then what I like to do is chop that avocado right up and then I stir it all together and it's my beautiful little Mexican fiesta bowl. It is so good, so simple, you don't even need a sauce. And this will definitely keep for a couple days in the fridge. Recipe number two is our superfood bowl. We're gonna start with our cooked quinoa. We're also gonna add in some massaged kale. I just massaged this with some lemon juice. We're gonna add in some sliced radish for a little bit of crunch, some roasted sweet potatoes, which you can meal prep ahead, as well as some chopped up avocado. Sprinkle that with some chopped up almonds. And I like to drizzle it with my spicy lemon dressing, which I will link below for you. And then you can finish it off with some hemp seeds if you want a little bit of protein. And you can just stir this all together and just like the last one, dig in and enjoy. And again, this one should last for a couple days in the fridge as well. Our third recipe is our Mediterranean quinoa bowl. We're gonna start by adding our quinoa into our bowl. To that, you're gonna add in some canned chickpeas, as well as some chopped up cherry tomatoes, some chopped up cucumber, chopped up olives, and some chopped up parsley. You could also add in a little bit of red onion if you wanted, but careful of onion breath. <laughs> and then you're gonna drizzle this with a tahini sauce. I am not giving you sauce directions in this video, so I will link some sauce ideas down below for you, but this is just one of my classic tahini dressings. 
And I love to finish this off with just a sprinkle of hemp seeds because A, it looks pretty and B, it adds a little bit of protein. And then you can stir it all together and dig in and enjoy. This one is just kind of like a classic Greek quinoa salad. Bright, flavorful, kind of tangy, and really, really delicious. Bowl number three is our Moroccan quinoa bowl. This one, we start with our cooked quinoa in the bottom. You're also gonna add in some chickpeas that I just tossed with some smoked paprika. We're also gonna add in some sliced up carrots, some chopped up pistachios, as well as a few dates that have been chopped up. And then we're also gonna add in some herbs. I like to do a blend of cilantro and parsley, but you can really do just cilantro or parsley if you wanted. And again, finish it off with that tahini sauce. It's the same sauce that I used in the last one, but again, I can link some down below for you. And you can just finish that with a sprinkle of the pistachios and you're good to go. Again, I just recommend stirring this all together so that everything is all nice and combined and the sauce gets all combined on everything and it just gets all nice and mixed up and flavorful. Bowl number five is our pesto quinoa bowl. Again, we're gonna start with our quinoa on the bottom. And then we're gonna add in some chopped spinach. You could also use kale if you wanted. I just like spinach here. We're gonna use some peas that I just thawed. They were just frozen peas and some pesto. And you can use any pesto that you want, jarred, homemade. I have a vegan pesto that is so awesome. So if you wanna make homemade, I will link that down below for you. It is seriously so good. And then I finish it off with some hemp seeds just for some extra protein. This one also would be great with white beans or chickpeas if you wanted to bulk it up even more. And I have to say, I think this one might be my favorite. I am just such a pesto lover. I am like obsessed with pesto and I just think it tastes so good. So I love to stir it all together and I like the sweetness of the peas, the herbiness of the pesto, the saltiness of the pesto. And then I love, of course, getting in some extra greens there. So this one is probably my favorite if I had to pick one. And then our last one is our Asian quinoa bowl. We are gonna start with, again, our cooked quinoa in the base. And to that, we are gonna add in some sliced carrots, just like we did with the Moroccan one. We're also gonna use some sliced up cabbage, as well as some tofu. You could use any type of tofu you wanted. I actually used my coconut tofu tenders that I shared last week. I just chopped them up and used that, but use any type of tofu you want, or tempeh would work. And then we're also gonna add in some cilantro for some herby flavor, and finish it off with my spicy almond butter dressing, which of course I will link below for you. And I also love to finish this off after I've drizzled it with the almond butter dressing with some chopped up almonds because it adds a really nice crunch and you get a few extra healthy fats and a little bit of protein. So I love adding nuts and seeds on top of my bowls. And just like the last ones, we are going to just mix this all together to get the dressing nice and combined, make sure that all the ingredients are folded in there, kind of turns into a salad. And I just think it tastes really good when it's all mixed in. But I guess mixing is optional. It's up to you. Either way, these all six are absolutely delicious. I hope that you see how easy it is to use quinoa. And I can't wait to hear which one you are going to try first. And there you have it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed our quinoa bowls video, six different ways. I personally love putting these videos together. It really makes me think about how I can meal prep things for you and how I can kind of simplify the process of creating different recipes, but still kind of keeping them as basic as possible and keeping them as easy as possible. So really my goal with these videos that I do with the six different combinations is that you have one simple base. In this case, it's just plain cooked quinoa. And then you can swap your flavors in and out to kind of give you a whole different type of meal. So I hope you guys enjoy them. If there's anything that you would like to see this type of recipe for or this type of video for, um, let me know in the comments. I think that we'll do maybe a sweet quinoa bowls recipe. That could be really fun. Maybe an overnight oats. I'm not sure. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. And I also, of course, want to thank Bob's Red Mill for joining us in today's video. Like I said in the beginning, they are an amazing partner. I'm so excited to be partnering up with them again in 2020. I have linked their website down below. It has all of their product information as well as a store locator.
Kickstarter, and their quinoa is awesome. So if you're looking for a good quinoa brand, I highly, highly recommend it. I also want to encourage you to head on over to the blog to check out the different flavor ingredient options as well as like the specific measurements. So that is all in a whole big blog post. Everything is in one spot for you guys with the measurements and everything like that. So I hope you guys find that helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Again, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you have requests for another type of video like this, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe before you go. There's a red button right below this video. All you have to do is click that button. And then if you click that little bell that is right next to it, that will turn on your notifications to make sure you never miss another video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.